Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have some polishes today from Born Pretty. They sent me over some gel polishes. So we're gonna do some swatching. And I'm excited because I took a look at the colors and they're so pretty. These are just the instructions. We all know how to uh, apply gel polish. Hmm. Okay. So I have my swatch nails ready. Let's take these out. I just love their polishes. Like, I love the consistency of them. And the, um, the richness of them. Even their jelly polishes are like, I don't know, just has a rich color. Look at all these pinks. Y'all know I love pink. Trying to take them out this thing here. I don't want to break a nail because I already broke a nail the other day. So I don't want to use my nails. Don't use your nails as tools. Do not. So we have some pinks here and it says BP Born Pretty um, and it has the number on it. So, let me see, I'm going to do this, um, put three on each of these little stands, that's better. I have a little piece of glue on my finger. I was doing some nails and... My glue, the glue that I have is really good, but it's just sometimes I gotta be careful with how I squeeze it out. Always end up getting some glue on me. Alrighty, so let's do a few. Let's look at these colors, oh my God. Where should we start? You start with the darker ones? So this is BPJR06. That is so pretty. It's like a, it looks reddish. Let's see what color it looks like when I put it on here. Because I have a color that's similar to this where it looks reddish. But when you put it on a nail, it has a pink tone to it. So this one looks more red. I uh, wish I would have used clear. Um clear nails instead of white ones. I guess that's okay. So that's that one. Let's move that to the side. Blah, blah, blah. And then let's go for this BP JR06. I mean 05. The one we just did was 06. This one's 05. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous color. Yeah, I like these sort of jelly colors on clear nails instead. It gives a different effect. So this one's a little bit lighter. Yeah, man. Do I have any clear swatch sticks? I don't think. Hmm. I don't think I have any prepped. Sometimes I, before I leave my little work area, I'll prep some nails. That way the next day I don't have much prepping to do. Like if I know I have um, an order to do or if I have like a set in mind that I know I really want to do, that way I can sit down and just get to work. 
this is gorgeous this is bpjr04 these are the first three very pretty colors i just love pinks so i'm gonna put that in the lamp for 60 seconds and let's move on to the next let's, let's keep it in order here we have jr03 i'm not really sure what the jr stands for oh it's so pretty it's like a peachy pink color that is really pretty and then next we have jr02 this one i opened already and i think it's probably my favorite it is so pretty oops it's like a true pink but like on the sheer side if you're using like sheer colors if you use like a sheer color i'll leave that in for 30 more seconds and then you're using it over a white nail it's definitely gonna make it less sheer and jelly like you're still gonna get that jelly a little like a little jelly effect but you're gonna see some white coming through so you're gonna have to make the nail more solid of a color and then it kind of defeats the purpose of like jelly that jelly look that's why i really like a sheer or um sheer and jelly colors i like to use clear nails because it really gives off that jelly look it's okay though So this one is 01, JR01, and it's the lightest color. It's a nice pink. It looks like a little baby pink. It looks pinkish, peachish on the camera probably, but isn't that gorgeous? Let's put that in the oven. I'm gonna put that for 90 seconds. I had this in there for 90 seconds just to be on the safe side. So isn't that gorgeous with just one coat you can still see like you know you see the white nail coming through but it's still gorgeous and just imagine that on a clear nail Pretty. Let me do some. I realize sometimes I do like little, like strokes. That's not necessary. I'm not gonna say this is the right or wrong way to polish nails, but to make more even coats, definitely limit your sh you know the amount of strokes you don't need to do that just take it from the top bring it down one two three four five at least that's how i learned in school my teacher used to say like five um strokes is good enough and also like when we did state board and state board, you shouldn't be like doing all of that. You know, nice, even one in the middle, one on the side, one on the other side, and then kind of one, two, to fix that. I'm not sure why I got um like little holes. I think that's how I prepped the nail. It's okay. That second coat, I think I'm gonna go for three coats. I just wanna see it look a little more solid. I know these nails are white, but let's try to let's try to do that.
three, four, five. Let that sit. And a little more dry, I need more. And let that sit in a little second as well. Sometimes you can just let let it sit, not too long, but it'll level level itself out. And we're gonna do one last coat because I'm just curious to see one more coat. I usually never do three coats of polish, but because these nails are white. I want a little more coverage. That's very pretty. It's definitely more of a red. I thought some pink would come out, but it's not, it's red. More of a like brighter red red. So this one, And I'm going to just close all of them. This color is fine with two coats, but we're going to go ahead and give it one more. I really, really wish I would have done these on clear nails. I wanted some jelly, jelly effect. But I'm definitely going to make some nail sets with um, these colors. I'm just not sure. I I always get like a little overwhelmed. You know, you get new polishes and you're like, or any new nail toys and you, you don't know what to do. You have so many ideas and that's honestly one of my problems, having a lot of different ideas. Sometimes I will sit here and for my own nails, like these nails. I took way longer than I needed to on these. These are very simple for me to do. Um, but just thinking of what I wanted on each nail and doing things a specific way, it's definitely time consuming. That's why when somebody comes to me and they know what they want on the nails like for sure for sure they don't want to change their mind they don't want to ask oh do you think or do you think or, or should i do this or you know i love that when they know exactly what they want because i'll be having so many ideas that i just want to put all of them those ideas on into one nail set that just does not work. All right, it's the last one. Also, you can see my blue tack from, you know, from the nail stands. I need to buy some new ones. Some new nail stands. I've broken a good amount of some of them. It usually breaks like right here. I call this like the neck. I'm, I don't know if it has a name, but I feel like it's just like the neck, right? This is the body, this is the head, this is the neck part. So usually it breaks right there. Sometimes I'm a little rough with them, with these um, nail stands. Let me get some top coat. Um, nah, I don't want, it was just not, it's not top coat. 
All right, I'm gonna take my top coat that's in my little jar here and use that because I really like it. I'm just gonna take one of my old polishes, like one of my top coats that's running thin. Well, it's running very low. I just use that and dip. This is a whole your own jar of top coat, so I'm gonna use that. These colors are very pretty. I wanted to make a set using these, but I don't have time right now. And to film it. Plus I'm very indecisive about what I wanna do with these colors. And also I baked a cake. I baked a nice boxed cake. For some reason, I was just been in the mood for box cake, and I think it was last week. I actually bought a box of cake to make, and I made it, and it was just so good. I know um, homemade cakes are, you know, not that hard to make, but. I wanted the taste of a, like, uh, what do you call it, Duncan Hines or whatever. Like, I wanted the taste of a box cake specifically, and it was the best decision ever I made last week. <laughs> so, I guess it's my new thing for right now, box cake. And I bought two more boxes. And then I have a little heart pan. I bought yellow, yellow cake. I got a little heart pan. So I feel like I did something fancy. And I baked it in my heart pan. And it's cooling right now. It's probably done by the time I'm finished this video. It's gonna be cooled down and I can put my frosting on it and I can have a nice gigantic piece of box cake. Now that I'm thinking about it though, I did forget to put one thing, some, some vanilla in it. I forgot that the last time. It's still good, but it adds a little something something, you know? I also got, um, Oh my goodness, I'm so glad. I went to the supermarket the other day. I usually don't go to the supermarket. I order my groceries online and have them delivered. It's just it's just way easier for me. Um, I went to the supermarket. I went out, I ran some errands. I said, let me stop at the supermarket because I wanted like tofu and a few things. And I always forget to order tofu online when I do my orders. Um, so I stopped in, I got my little box cake. Oh, this is so pretty. And I also got some apple cider. Oh my God, I love apple cider so much. And it seems like every holiday season, I forget to buy like a jug, like a gallon. Cause you know, they sell them by the gallon. Um. If I'm out and about and there's like a stand that sells um, hot apple cider, then I buy some and it's always so good and so satisfying. I had two cups yesterday. So I bought me a gallon of apple cider and I take it and put it in a pot, warm it up, add a little bit of cinnamon in it. It smells like apple pie. It's so good. It's such a relaxing drink. It tastes good. I love it. But every year I forget to get some. And I end up roaming the streets and just, you know, New York has a bunch of like holiday pop-up stands and they all have apple cider. And I'm spending like $5 on a cup of apple cider. It's good, but it's ridiculous. So yeah, I got me my apple cider. I'm going to 
Mm. You know how you just got a nice treat waiting for you? I'm about to get a nice piece of cake, warm up some apple cider, and relax. Isn't that so gorgeous? That is so pretty. Let me move my lamp. Get a cute little photo of it. Those are so pretty. I can't wait to use them. I think I like, hmm. This color is very pretty. I think I like this one and this one. This one is really pretty. It reminds me of this other Born Pretty jelly color that I actually have. And I use that color up. I actually have to buy some more like French French type colors. But these will work for a French base. Like especially this one. If you have clear nails or if, you know, you don't have to do three coats if you don't want it this solid for your French. But these... This one will work really pretty for French. This one on a sheer, you know, not three layers like I did. And this one, so pretty. Can't wait to use them. But that is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will leave the link to this polish set in the description box below.